Hi guys, today I'm going to show you this Deeper Connect Decentralized VPN. Yeah, that's a hardware VPN. I think a lot of people don't even know that something like that exists. And so we have two big advantages compared to normal software VPN solutions. So with this device, you can use a VPN also for devices which don't have a VPN like a Roku stick. And the second big advantage is that you don't need a subscription for a VPN provider because it's using a decentralized solution. So very interesting. So I'm going to show you all the details, everything what you get, how to set it up and how you can use it. Okay, so here we have the box. And so we have actually two items here. So that's the three port USB cooling base. Let's open that. Okay, already pretty cool. Nice ventilation. And so here's the main device with some instructions manual, quick setup guide. I hope it's focusing nice. This you can read everything if you want to check. And then more information here. I hope you can see everything. And then the main device, of course, pretty heavy, nice, beautiful. Ethernet port, USB, USB-C cooling, two times Ethernet, comes with the soft rubber feet, good cooling, really beautiful one, watch this thing here, and some accessories, really beautiful, high quality gold plated Ethernet cable, then the power supply, USB-C, everything makes a really good impression. Okay, and so here I have everything what I need. Here I have my Wi-Fi router, my computer, and here we have the VPN in between. So of course we put the VPN on top of the cooling plate, and then we plug in the power for the cooling plate into the USB, or we can use any other USB, of course, especially if you want to use the antenna. So let's put the antenna here if you need Wi-Fi, but you don't need to use the Wi-Fi. You can also use direct Ethernet. By the way, there are two connection possibilities depending on situation which you have. So if you have a separate modem and Wi-Fi router, you just put this VPN in between these two devices. Or if you have an all-in-one modem router, you just put the VPN after that and then we are usually using the antenna, but of course you can still use just Ethernet. And so instead of connecting the router directly with the computer, with this cable, I plug it in here on the left side. I'm not 100% sure if it has to be on the left side, but it's displayed in the instructions like that and so we are using this cable here on the right side as an output for the internet data and connect then this to the computer instead of this one here super simple but of course we can use any other ethernet cable and so in my case i needed a little bit a longer one and then as a last step we are connecting the power and so we can see the state slide here in the back it's blinking in red for some time you just have to wait till it shows green. So now after some time, I can see the green light, but it's not solid green. It's flashing green. By the way, I found out it doesn't matter which side we are using for input and output. I've switched them two times and it always gave me the same results. So we have it ready and you can see I have my computer on and I'm even showing my location just approximately here a little bit far away so you can't see that too close. Also not my IP address of course but you can see internet is still working but now what we want to do is of course to access the menu of this device and so we enter 34.34.34.34 34 .34 in the URL that brings us to the credentials. And so we enter here username password, which we got in the instructions manual. And so we have now full access to the full menu, which is absolutely awesome. That's crazy what we have here. So we have much more options here regarding the DPN. That's the mode tunnel routing app relocator. Of course, that's what a lot of people are using at block, even parental control, more security, customized DNS mining staking tutorial wallet then more settings here wi-fi sharing administration and much much more so you can see for example in the app relocator so for example here for netflix we can use 
North Europe, North America, Western Europe, Asia, and so on and so on. Really a lot of options here. We have even an app lookup. And so what's absolutely awesome, I think one of the best features here at all are these different routing modes. We have the smart route, we have the full route, we have the disabled. So the difference between the smart route is that different apps can use different locations while in the full route all the apps are using the same location. So for example to test here we are using the full route to Switzerland. So all traffic will now go to Switzerland. Let's click on OK. And so for example when I'm using the NordVPN IP locator it says that I'm in Switzerland burn which I'm definitely not but you can see this is definitely working totally reliable absolutely awesome and so I'm testing here the internet speed for Switzerland yeah definitely pretty slow now switch to a North America location you can see definitely much faster of course it's not a big surprise that it's slower because of course all the traffic now goes from this device through the internet encrypted to another device of some other user and there the data is decrypted and going fully transparent of course to some other user internet service provider it's not possible in a different way so we have a little bit more traffic and it can only use the spare bandwidth which other users have and here is also one of the biggest disadvantages of course then other users also use your device so they have same thing at home and they send the data encrypted to this device here that one which I'm touching and here it's decrypting and sending everything to my internet service provider and so whatever they do will be visible on my internet service provider log if they are logging that and usually they are doing that and worst case I could even be held liable for this traffic so that's a little bit scary stuff definitely works but also has some risks so you have to be aware of that very interesting device I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time